working on our mice. Um, I'm going to show you guys how to wrap one hand and then I'm just going to move on. Uh, again, it's in a previous video that we did, um, one of the instructional episodes, so you should check that out. But I've got some beeswax warming up here and in your kit is a little bag that has sort of the, um, the more specialty fibers in it and you'll need the, the pink, the pink color to begin. Um, okay, so we're going to zoom in so you can see, see exactly what I'm doing here. Okay, so there's, there's no real, um, complicated technique behind wrapping the fingers, except that you just want to make sure that you use a very small amount. I mean, it's really not much at all and that you um, wrap tightly. So I usually start by going around the hand um, one time just so I have, I can kind of pull against the fibers, I have something to pull against. And then I pick which finger I'm going to do and move the other ones out of the way, I'm going to do this one. And as I wrap I kind of like use my thumb and finger to make sure it's tight and then I want to dip the wire into the wax before I get the wool on there. Um, the wool really absorbs the wax and you just get too much, but the wire um, will just get a little tip of wax on it and that's all you need. And then I'm going to wrap the wool right into that and then come back with any extra, hopefully keeping it really skinny and then just finish by going around the hand. I don't really do any felting at this point. Um, once all the fingers are on, we'll wrap this, this, this hand and, and felt it a little bit. So I'll show you one more time and then just let you, uh, let you have at it. And I'll do mine off camera. We don't need to spend a half an hour wrapping little fingers on camera. So I'm going to go down the finger, it's a very thin amount, dip the tip of that wire in the wax, and then twist the wool into the wax, a stray hair there. I'm just going to come back. Okay, and you're going to do that eight times. See you in a few. Okay, so the toes are wrapped and now we need to put this pink color on the tail and the arms and the feet. So I'm going to take a piece um, to wrap down each arm. And I'm keeping it thin. I really like to try to keep their little wrists and arms as skinny as possible. Um, so it's a, it's a thin piece about, about two inches long. And I just start at the top of the arm and I just want to get a layer on here. And I'm going to cover this wire that we wrapped on here, making sure it's really secured down. And I'm going to overlap the palm of the hand, just pulling a little bit of extra off, um, where we have all of our little toe um, wool coming in. And I'm going to felt that a little bit, just to make sure it stays. Don't forget there's wire in there, so you got to stay to the side of it. Okay, that's good for now. And then you do the other arm. And on the hind leg, we're going to do the same thing. A little bit longer piece, maybe more like three or four inches. And 
We start at the top of the leg. I'm coming down the leg just to keep it um, where this is going to get covered, but just so that I have a place to start and to keep a nice amount of wool on there. I wouldn't want to just do the foot because then you've got to somehow make your wool um, come together. <laughs> so it's better just to start higher than you actually want the color to be so you have something to blend into. And I'm just trying to keep it real smooth and have a nice consistent, again, skinny leg. And when I get to this part of the toe, I'm going to wrap around, kind of do like a, a crisscross to keep the wool on there. I guess you could dip the toe wire in the beeswax too, just to keep some right on that tip of the toe, but I usually just with the needle felt it around. Stabbing into the the loop of the foot, that's a good place to, to stab. Okay, and then we need to get a layer on the tail. And again, I start at the base of the tail and go all the way to the end. So you want to try to get a nice long piece, about six inches long. The pipe cleaner really grabs the wool nicely. And I'm using both hands to smooth it out and keep it tight as I go. I usually put a little bit of the top coat color over this at the base of the tail. You can see on this one. A little tricky to wrap wire that's sticking out into nowhere because it wants to wiggle around on you. And at the end, instead of doubling back, I just go around and I just let the the fibers kind of stick off the end because you want the tail to get skinny towards the end. And if you double back, it kind of gets it gets thick at the end. So then I just kind of play with this. You can pull some off. You can twist it in your fingers. Alright, so once you wrap the other foot, you've got a good start. And next we start building up uh, with the core wall, building up the rest of the armature. Okay, we're coming along on our little mice. Um, the next video we will continue wrapping our armature to build it up with the, um, with the core roving. But th this was the hard part. so. Now we'll move along and uh, get into the, the fun stuff. I think it was hard anyway. It's not my favorite thing to do, but the little hands are so cute. You got to do it. All right. See you next time.